Hey guys, so this is going to be a different video on my channel because I never really do videos like this. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make a like social media animated thing that looks like this. I'll just play it. Okay, so that's what mine looks like. So this is for Mac users because I am not quite sure how you would do this on a Windows laptop, but you're going to want to open Keynote. Sorry, you have to go to Wide, so then you can choose it. And then you're just going to get rid of these text boxes. And then just zoom out to about 50% so then you can see the whole thing. And then what you're going to want to do is just minimize this and go look up icons on Safari or whatever web user you use okay what the heck there we go and you can just look up like pink instagram logo so yeah i already have mine just drag them onto your desktop mine are in this folder right here so then go back to your keynote and you are going to take your instagram and twitter logos like this just drag those on here just make them look nice and then the next thing is you're just gonna have those on here so that's done and then you're gonna want to go back to Safari this is kind of a long process it doesn't take that long though and the result is great so you're just going to want to go to pick monkey and then go to the design and do a square actually you could really do whatever you want but then you do a uh, I believe it's overlay yes and you do geometric and then you can choose I choose the rectangle one that don't have the rounded edges because that's what I like the no rounded edges and then you're just gonna put it here wherever you want it has to be transparent background so just go to canvas color and make this a transparent canvas and then you may save it then what you will do is just drag in that blue bar that you saved right here so it looks like that. I probably shouldn't have done blue because the Twitter logo is blue, but it's okay. It's you do you, you know? We'll just go with this like gray kind of color, I guess. Yeah. I just did that by turning up the ex or turning down the exposure and down the saturation. So now it's gray. You're just going to want to drag your Twitter logo onto that. And you're going to want to bring it to the front by double clicking on it and then making it like this. And then you're going to do the same thing for Instagram. Just make it kind of small. I'll bring it to the front. Do is add a text. So just make it at whatever you want. I'm just going to do at this is Harley. This is just a practice one. So at this is Harley. And then you can make it whatever color you please. I'm just gonna go with this purple color. Just highlight it first. Um, and then change the font to whatever font you like. I get mine from defont.com. I'm just going to go with this one for this video. It's called lemon yellow sun and then change it to the size you would like you're just gonna kind of have to play around with this i guess looks like this uh yeah next thing you're going to want to do this is very important like do not forget this guys so you're going to want to make sure your background is called color fill and then you're going to want to change this to a green color i kind of make mine like a darker green and you guys are probably like that's ugly but just just wait okay just wait now you're going to animate which is what makes it do the cool like intro and outro kind of stuff i guess so I'm going to do a wipe. Actually, no. Just kidding. I think I want to do slide in wherever that one is. Trying to find it. Move in. That's what it's called. Move in. And you can do whatever um really like effect that you want to do. I just wanted to do this one. I like this one. And then you're going to choose your next thing. So I'm just going to make it this. And I'm going to make it come in with a shimmer. Because I think that looks really pretty. And then I'm going to do the Twitter logo with a shimmer as well. And then this, this is Harley part, I'm going to do with... Sorry if my phone is dinging in the background, I apologize completely. Um, I actually kind of like the typewriter, so we're going to do that. And then, at the end, like what you're going to do now is to build an order. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to do this bar first. And then you're going to make this number three go with build two and then you're gonna make number four go with build two 
and then you're going to want to build your order again just make this one go with five this one go with five and then this one go with five and then make the five go after the four but make it a delay of however long you want i'm just going to go with five seconds so i will now show you guys the finished thing So that is the finished thing. Um, I think I like it, so we're gonna save it. Just what you're gonna want to do is save it to export to, I mean, a QuickTime file, and you can do whatever um, file you're gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it 720p right now, and then you just make these zero, and make sure that it is self-playing because that's very important. I don't even think you can change it, so self-playing, <laughs> and then just save it as whatever you want. So we're just going to make it this harlot. And you can X out on the, these things. So now it is right here. I'm just going to drag it into my folder because I want to make sure that my sister's laptop stays quite clean. And then you're just going to want to open iMovie, which is right in your applications. Um, I would actually typically use Final Cut Pro, but my sister does not have that on her laptop. And I have to do this on her laptop because um, she has Keynote and I don't. So, yeah, but I normally just e email them to myself. So then you can go to your iMovie library. There's my sister. She's looking fresh as a fly. So <laughs> just make a movie. Um, I'm just not going to do a theme because I don't really want a theme. <laughs> Looks like this. All right. My movie, we'll just make it. I'll really use like this and then now it's here so just take a random clip this is me and her talking because yeah and I did her makeup really bad that day on purpose so yeah and then what you can do is just open up your folder or if you're not keeping on a folder then don't and just drag on or drag in the little social media thing so here we go Sorry, I'm going to turn on the volume because I don't really want... It's stupid. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, you're going to want to change this to green screen, blue screen. And then, boom, it's like an overlay. So, here we go. Let's watch. Ah, uh, here we go. So, that's all for this little uh, tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. It's called my, like, editing series, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!